Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to La Cucina. Happy Palm Sunday to everybody all over the world. Uh, una buona domenica delle palme per l'Italia, per tutti quanti nel mondo. E per la gente che celebra il Passover, happy Passover, everybody. So, today we are making la pizza uh, siciliana because my wife loves Sicilian pizza. She's from Sicily. So, I never made it for her. And I said to myself, you know what? Ah, hey, look. I make pizza all the time. How hard can it be to make Sicilian pizza? So I asked her what she likes. And she told me, she gave me the ingredients. I said, okay, baby, I'll do it for you. So that's what we're doing right now. So I'll put you on it right away so you guys can see exactly what we're doing in this house. It's a very gloomy Sunday. There is raining outside, the fog is coming down, and we are here cooking, we're having fun. And I got vaccinated yesterday, my second vaccine, so no, re no reaction, thank God. Tutto a posto. Everything is good. I hope everybody's safe. I hope everybody stay safe, continue to be saving, and let's cook. Okay, to make uh, the Sicilian pizza, la pizza siciliana, usually they use a, a square pan, but I'm going to use this, the, the round pan that I make focaccia with, because I don't have a square pan that's seasoned, so that's what I'm doing. So, we put in olive oil on the bottom. A good amount of olive oil. You know, not too much, but you don't, also you don't want the, the pan to stick. So that's what you do. So now the, 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 the dough, la focaccia dough, or the pizza dough, whatever you want to call it, because that's why it's the same. It's my, my dough that I make all the time. It was already rising beautifully. You guys saw it already. And then what I'll do is... With your hand that they have olive oil on it, you put it down. That's it. You take as much as you can out, which is almost everything. It's nice and clean. See? Okay. Now, a little bit of olive oil on your hand so it doesn't stick because this is sticky. And then what you do is just let it go down here, spread it. You can see a nice and elastic. The dough is, it's a beauty. So you can have a Sicilian pizza. Instead of being round, instead of being square, we'll make it round, big deal. Okay, so now see this? This was, was growing for two hours. And now, that it took all the space. Look how beautiful this is stretched everywhere, right? So we do like la, la focaccia. You put in the fingers in like this. This is the way we make focaccia. So we can put tomato on everything else. So I'm gonna leave this here. And now what we do is, I'm gonna put a little bit more of the olive oil right here, just a little, so it coats. You get a lot of rice. Why? I'm putting olive oil. Because this is gonna grow one more time. Almost double the size. Once it grows double the size, then we're gonna start working on it because we're making the Sicilian pizza today in the oven, in the regular oven, not in the pizza oven. So, so there is a different way to do it. And I will show you in a little bit. Make sure, nice and tight, so the pizza when the rice just doesn't touch. Even though it just touches a little, I put all the oil on the dough, so it will not stick. See, right across, one and two. So we're gonna let it sit now for another two hours. And then in two hours, we come back here and we'll, uh, we'll play with uh, all the ingredients to make Sicilian pizza because my wife is from Sicily. So I said, honey, I'm gonna make a nice Sicilian pizza today. I'll see you guys soon. Hello everybody, welcome to La Cucina. I'm your host Pasquale. So today we're making pizza, Sicilian pizza. Cause you know what, happy, happy Palm Sunday to everybody. Buona Domenica delle Palme, uh, dall'America all'Italia. E oggi facciamo la pizza siciliana, che mia moglie li piace. 
So lei è siciliana e facciamo la pizza siciliana. Now, I non have a pan, a quadrata, so uso la pa con la colla rocca, con la colla tonda che, ho, che faccio la focaccia. So, you saw before when I made and I put uh, la focaccia qui dentro, mi faccio vedere e vi porto qui. Let me put you right here and you guys can see better. So, what am I doing now? I already put the oven on the maximum. So, when you make focaccia or pizza, if you make pizza at home, it's different than when you make focaccia. La focaccia, you put it on the highest with the tomato and the olives, a little olive oil, and you're done. When you make the pizza, you gotta be careful. Why? Because if you put mozzarella, fresh mozzarella, everything on it, everything is gonna be like burned up after. Because the oven, the regular oven cooks a little on lower heat than the uh, pizza oven. So the first thing what I do, see look this one, I let it, it was uh, already rise for two hours. And now after I put it in here, I let it rise for two more hours. And you can see like the little bubble, you know, of the air. Because this is beautiful, soft, soft, fresh dough that I made this morning. So, adesso che facciamo? The oven is preheating, is almost there. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to put a layer of la salsa che mia moglie, my wife made, beautiful sauce from the crushed tomato, and it's delicious. That's the same sauce I make for the pizza, she makes for the pizza for me. I cannot take the credit for that, she makes it. So. So the first thing we do is this. This sauce is nice and cold still. So what we do is put a little sauce here and we have to cook. This pizza, almost like halfway through, with, uh, with just the sauce. And then I'm gonna cut up the mozzarella and I'm gonna show you the other stuff that I just made this morning for this pizza, which is sausage. It's like the sausage without the casing. It's almost like a, um, you know, sausage patty, but it was, it was sausage without the casing that I cut up to put in on the Sicilian pizza. So this needs to be cooked for a little while. So usually, it takes a little while to cook, like maybe 20 minutes. Uh, and what we're gonna do is first, the sauce, let this come to a nice halfway cook, and then we take it out of the oven again, and then we're gonna put a, the rest of the goodies on top. Okay, so, la salsa è pronta. Let me wipe because I just spilled a little bit. So now this, this beautiful, is going in the oven right now. Okay, so, the pizza is, look at this. This is like halfway there. So what we're gonna do is, see how nice it is now? Now, we're gonna do the rest. So me, I'm cooking over here. My wife is watching uh, Stanley Tucci, searching for Italian food. You see? Very nice. So now, what we do is, the mozzarella. See the way I cut the mozzarella? Like a disc. Fresh mozzarella. But I like to do it this way because, you know what? When you cut it a little thicker, it doesn't burn easily. I have to invest in one of those uh, square pans to make this a silly one for my wife. But listen guys, you never know. Look at this. Look at this stuff. Mozzarella in carrozza. No, I don't know. See, when you go to the pizzeria, they just put the shredded mozzarella on it. And me, I like this. 
I like it like this, I like it like that, I like that. Let's see. We have to see how this comes out later, once everything melts. And that's a beauty. Now, I think it's enough mozzarella. What do you guys think? I know my wife likes a lot of mozzarella. So let's finish the other two pieces. That's it. Finito, beautiful. Now, how do we do this? Just a little bit of salsa, maybe a little, on the top of the mozzarella. Just trickle, trickle a little bit. That's the way I make it. Maybe you guys make it different, whatever. That's the way we do it. And la carne, the sausage, huh? we put it like this, nice. On top of the... This probably will be. What do you guys think? Does it look good? We'll see. I hope it tastes good. That's the most important for me anyway. With my hands, guys. Call him on, you gotta wash your hands. You know, make sure you do that. Wash the hands first. Then we do our beautiful. That was really sad. You know, the first day after the Onions. See, you hear Stanley Tucci in the background? This guy, still in my thunder. Stanley Tucci. So if you come to Wonton, New York, make sure you come in and cook with me. Pasquale Caputo. La Cucina, cooking with Pasquale Caputo and Stanley Tucci, maybe, hey, why not? You guys like caramelized onions? I do. I made them. I don't like it. Guys, questa, you know why I don't put it too much on the, in, in the, on the edges? Because I want to make sure that this will spread everything. Oh, I want to take a picture of this before I put it in the oven. So guys, now, just a little more, right? A little trickle of the sauce. La mozzarella in bocca. It's almost like a pizza margherita, right? Yeah, okay. This is not, nothing to do with the pizza margherita. This is Pasquale Caputo. Um, Sicilian make-believe or Sicilian make-a-wish, whatever we want to call it, pizza. I think that's enough. So now what we do is a little parmigiano reggiano, così si mangia più la pizza bella. Hey, look at this stuff. Mamma mia, it's beautiful. All right, so now, a little bit of olive oil, guys. Right over. Hey, you. Yeah, that's it. Perfetto. Perfetto, perfetto. Now it's going back into the oven for about, probably about 20 minutes. And then mangiamo. All right. I will see you when this delicious thing is done. Hello, everybody. And the la, la pizza siciliana is coming out of the oven. It takes about another three, maybe two minutes. And it's gonna ring and I'm gonna put it out. I'm gonna put it right here on the tavoliere because it's very, very hot. I don't wanna burn myself, so I have to leave it there, cool off. But you have to see this. Come on, boy, let's see. I'm gonna take it out right now. It's coming to you. It's sizzling up. Sizzling, sizzling. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, look at this. Wow. This is si chiama la Siciliana, la pizza siciliana Pasquale style. And because my wife wanted this, I made it. Now I hope it's good. <laughs> I hope it's good if she doesn't like it. Oh, mamma mia, I'm gonna be in trouble. She's watching Stanley Tucci over there. Oh, I took it out two seconds early. Okay, we're gonna let it cool off a little, then we're gonna cut it up and 
Oh, taste this beautiful, beautiful pizza. I'll see you in two minutes. Okay, let's try this. Mamma mia. This needs a knife. Oh wow. So let's do a little square, so just like the Sicilian. Like a Sicilian pizza. We can use this too now. What do you think is gonna come off? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, a little more. Okay. I think it's good now. Ooh, pizza. Straccia della come mi. Mangi tutta sta pizzetta. Ogni giorno, ogni mattina. Mmm, che bella vita. Sedurasse. Ok, guys. Facciamo così. Ok. So. Pizza alla Pasquale. It's uh, la, la pizza siciliana that I made for my wife. She requested this, so I'm gonna try. It's it's pretty hot, still smoking, but I want to try it because I want to end the video so you guys can watch it. <laughs> All right, let's see. Look at the mozzarella. Mmm. Vito Malaguanda bella. I gotta learn some Sicilian song so to do this. Look at this. Oh my god. Mm. Delicioso. Hey, yo. I only said one taste. I'm eating the whole thing here. Ragazzi. A beautiful pizza. A pizza Siciliana. Yeah, you can do whatever you want anyway. You get the topic, toppings that you want and just enjoy. Guys, delicioso. This is dinner tonight. We're not going to eat the whole thing too much. So come on over. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Hey, happy Palm Sunday. Happy Passover, and guys, stay safe out there, and I will see you next time. Ciao a tutti!